John, that must be pretty hard to take. It, it is it's hard to take, yeah, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to fault the effort of, of my players. Uh, I, perhaps I may well fault some of the execution and so on, but we came up against a side that's packed out with NRL players and quality NRL players uh, against a team that's got three Super League players uh, and, and a load of good young lads who are working their way through the game and uh, you know that quality tone that they were better than us they were comprehensively better than us I thought they played a really good game in rugby league and you know you've got to congratulate Fiji because the first half I think they made one error and that was the last tackle play when they ran it so if people are playing football like that against you as big strong fast and skillful as they are you didn't bother and we were in bother and your guys have asked for two more physically demanding games to kick off the World Cup? <laughs> no, just a combination of the two, yes. Yeah, so, no, we couldn't. No, I mean, it was... It, PNG was obviously very difficult, but I think we've come against the site tonight who've got the, the physicality of, of PNG, uh, but the skill of, of a high-quality NRL team, and uh, it's undone us. And, you know, we know where we've we've let ourselves down, but we're also, the, on the effort scale, they never I never once felt like they, they were giving up. And that, that's credit to them. Mate, um, uh, most of the T1 countries, I think England might have dropped one or two games, but I mean, generally speaking, haven't lost to Tier 2. Are we going to see that in this tournament, do you think? No. No? No. So that, that, that's just as it is, Steve. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the T1 countries are, are exceptional. I mean, the only one you might get, perhaps, at a, a Tonga at Tier 2. Yeah. You know, that, that might be the only one. Uh, against New Zealand, but the way New Zealand are playing, they're outstanding as well. So I, I don't think so. I, I, I'd uh, it'll be Australia v New Zealand or England in the final. I think I'm pretty certain of that. Do you think a Fiji could or a Tonga? Could well, they've come forth the last two World Cups, haven't they, Fiji? So obviously they're one of those that's challenging, and Tonga are indeed the same. And you know, if they play to the maximum of their ability, but. I don't think games like this do them much good to tell you the truth to prepare for that because I think the weighted possession was something like 70% to 30% or something so they haven't had much defending to do have they? Uh, and even then when we got the ball we came up, Elliot's just apologised for you know one of his plays, he, he felt it was the wrong decision on, on play three uh, tackle two when he kicked and you know I, I tend to agree with him and we had other ones like that but uh, we didn't test them really and uh, it's, it's credit to them how they kept the ball, how they kept us away from their end of the field, and the better team by far, the better team by far won, and the scoreboard doesn't tell a lie. John, will you expect a, a reaction to this defeat then against Ireland? Is there uh, that's the last thing I can think about, and it's the last thing the players can think about, because you know the Welsh fans and, uh, will feel very, very disappointed, but I'll tell you what, they're not half as disappointed as the players are and the coaches are, because there's been a lot of work gone into this, and you know, you feel like you've been kicked in the rocks, to tell the truth. Elliot, was there any surprises out there from your point of view, you know, compared to what you expected? No, not really. No. 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 no I think, I mean, Elliot can, he can answer that, so. Uh, no, we knew they were going to be physical and play more, a little bit more than PNG, and that's what they did. And it's all, like John said, with the possession, you know, all we did was D, and then we were just too gassed then to, to attack them from over D. Was there, can you compare P PNG and Fiji as to which one is more physical? Uh, no, because the temperature probably told a little bit in PNG as well. Um, it was a lot cooler, even though it was warm here. Um, it was like playing in a tumble dryer in, in PNG. Um, but yeah, both equally as physical. When you got that try to level, did you think maybe, maybe we can do something here? Or well, we, we wanted to stay in the arm wrestle and you know coming up with a, a couple of errors and just bring them onto us and. Not being able to D up and back up with the defence, then no. What is the toughest thing about trying to stop them? Uh, just, just slowing the ruck down. I think that's the hardest thing. If you don't win the ruck, then you're always on the back foot. Thanks, fellas. Cheers, no, thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you.